So far, there have only been $6 trillion companies in history, with Nvidia being the most recent one to join the list. But what if I told you that Coinbase could become $1 trillion company too in the next few years? Sure, it sounds crazy, right? But before you dismiss the idea, hear me out. In this video, I'll explain why Coinbase could reach $1 trillion valuation, which by the way, would mean that coin stock could even outperform Bitcoin and Ether in the next cycle. And to understand why, we got to start with part one, why Coinbase has a strong case for success. First, let's just ignore the trillion dollar number and start with the straight up bullish case for Coinbase. In terms of stock price, Coin is up over 120% year to date, far outpacing the S&P 500's 15% increase for the very same period. This strong performance is not surprising at all if we look into the financials. Coinbase beat earnings expectations by nearly 100 million in Q2, surprising analysts worldwide. Instead of the expected 628 million, Coinbase pulled in 708 million in total revenue for Q2, despite crypto still being in a bear market. This was also the first quarter where recurring revenue exceeded transaction revenue. This is a massive deal because one of Wall Street's long-term criticisms of Coinbase was that it was overly reliant on trading fees, which mainly comes during bull markets. Another positive sign is that Coinbase cut their recurring expenses by a whopping 50% while still managing to roll out new products like Base. Not to mention, Coinbase went from a staggering $1 billion in quarterly losses last year to just $97 million in the second quarter of this year. It shows that the company is changing gears towards making profits, and you know what that means. It means big Wall Street funds could start eyeing Coinbase shares much more seriously. Coinbase balance sheet also boasts an impressive $5.8 billion in liquidity, with only $3.48 billion worth of debt, signaling strong financial health for the exchange. But Jemmy, there are a bunch of exchanges with a healthy balance sheet and ample liquidity, it doesn't make Coinbase stand out, right? While that is true, Coinbase has something even more important as they've got an awesome lineup of products for both regular folks and institutional investors. At the beginning of August, Coinbase launched its own Ethereum Layer 2 blockchain called Base, and Base exceeded 100,000 daily active users in the first day after its launch and has been picking up steam ever since. The truth is, Coinbase has put together the perfect set of tools for regular folks, making buying crypto as simple and user-friendly as can be. Just think of it like this, there's no way your aunt will be able to set up a MetaMask wallet, let alone use complex DeFi protocols like Uniswap. This is why user experience is crucial when it comes to early stage technologies like crypto. Just look at the companies like Apple, Airbnb, Slack, or Netflix. What do they all have in common? Well, they had a seamless user experience that allowed them to onboard millions of users. And Coinbase has the same mindset that will allow them to onboard the next billion crypto users. But beyond just retail participants, Coinbase products also cater to institutional investors, which is where the real money is at. For one, Coinbase has launched an offshore perpetual features exchange that will offer Bitcoin and Ether features for institutional investors. Considering how derivatives make up over 75% of the total crypto trading volume, it means that there's a lot of GC market share that Coinbase can gobble up. Coinbase also offers crypto custody for institutions via Coinbase Custody. And this will be huge for the company when all Bitcoin ETFs eventually get approved because large institutions like Vanguard and Fidelity will be looking for trusted crypto custodians, and guess who they are most likely going to pick? Well, perhaps it's the same custodian that BlackRock has already chosen, and BlackRock itself manages a staggering $10 trillion worth of assets. So imagine the inflows from all these ETFs. It could mean millions or even billions of dollars in custody fees for Coinbase alone. 
But another reason to be bullish on Coinbase is the venture capital arm, Coinbase Ventures. Since the launch in 2018, they have invested in some of the most promising projects in the crypto world, such as Uniswap, Arbitrum, and OpenSea. That portfolio could easily be worth tens of billions of dollars on the balance sheet during the next bull run. But let's take a step back now. With all these positive things going on, do they even matter when we look at the rules that the government has for the crypto industry? After all, crypto companies have had a hard time in the past few years due to all the regulatory crackdowns and uncertainty. But Coinbase has positioned itself as one of the most compliant crypto businesses, so it stands to benefit the most when things become clearer in the future. Speaking of which, there's that bipartisan crypto bill which could set the framework for crypto user protection in the US in the next year or so. If things go well with this bill, it could make a big difference in the crypto world. Just look at this chart overlaid with the SEC recent crackdown. It's pretty clear that this year, the main things affecting prices were the rules and regulations. But on that note, things do look bright for Coinstock as it's up over 50% since they were sued by the SEC in June. And Ripple's partial victory helped a lot too, as it greatly weakened the SEC case against Coinbase and will perhaps push Congress to pass the bill sooner rather than later. So with all these points in mind, you can see why I'm ultra bullish on Coinbase, but how does that translate into a trillion dollar valuation? Because that requires way more than just being bullish on a company. Well, that brings us to part two, the case for a trillion dollar valuation. Let's use NVIDIA as an example again, because it's the latest company to reach $1 trillion valuation. In 2022, NVIDIA's reached nearly $27 billion in yearly revenue during an AI bull market. Meanwhile, Coinbase was able to generate $8 billion in revenue in 2021 during the peak of the last crypto bull market. So the idea is to make a case that Coinbase can triple its peak bull market revenue in the next few years in order to match Nvidia's figures. Well, the first place for Coinbase to grab a lot of revenue is the international market with the new product site Perpetual Features. I think Coinbase is well positioned to grab a lot of market share internationally as Binance is facing regulatory scrutiny from all around the world. As the current largest centralized exchange in the world, Binance generated over 20 billion in revenue for 2021. And Coinbase could easily overtake 50% of that as it expands to international markets. That means they could make around 10 billion more, especially during the peak of the next bull market. But there's a second way for Coinbase to make even more money, which is through their institutional clients. Remember, we have a lot of institutions just waiting for regulatory clarity before they flood in. And they are going to bring what's estimated to be hundreds of billions of dollars in client capital with them. So with Coinbase offering products like Coinbase Prime and Coinbase Custody, a quick back of the napkin math gets Coinbase several hundred million more in revenue just from these services alone. But the third place for Coinbase to get more revenue may be an unexpected one, and that will be the new based blockchain. It's already looking like a runway success as it attracts an insane amount of users and demand to the exchange. Let's compare that with the Solana blockchain, which was worth over $78 billion as its all-time high valuation. Well, Base could easily become that valuable of an asset in Coinbase portfolio during the next bull market. And who knows, with regulatory clarity, Coinbase could even launch a base token, which would help them directly capture that value into additional revenue. But my fourth place for Coinbase to get even more revenue is just their current core business. In quarter three of this year, they expect to reach at least 300 million in revenue from subscriptions and services alone. Now imagine what that will translate to when the next bull market comes and everyone is investing in crypto once again. I could easily envision them making a 
billion dollars or possibly more from services beyond just trading fees. But Jemmy, does this really justify a 1 trillion valuation though? Well, given those four places for Coinbase to grab more revenue, I think it's super plausible for them to 3x their bull market revenue to match Nvidia's 2022 revenue, which got them that 1 trillion valuation. And keep in mind that it took Nvidia 7 years to break out of its bottom range and rise 53x to 1 trillion. So as a one-stop crypto shop for both retail and institutional investors, Coinbase is well positioned to become the seventh company in the 1 trillion club when the next bull market comes. By the way, this would make Coinbase outperform both Bitcoin and Ether, which would be very unprecedented. But I could honestly see it happen as Bitcoin and Ether have way higher market caps these days, so the upside is capped. So if you are only holding crypto in your portfolio, perhaps you should consider adding some Coinbase shares too. Anyways, what do you think about my bullish case for Coinbase and its path to $1 trillion? If you're still not convinced and prefer regular crypto coins, it's all good. You should check out my video on Polygon here where I make the bullish case for that project.